Hey folks, this is Kalani. It looks like this train might be going faster than any of us quite realized. Forget worrying about the release date and Blizzard not making good on their time frame. We're already out of Alpha, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, Alpha is officially done and dusted. We're moving into the beta game. I didn't really expect things to move all this quickly, even with the less than four month deadline looming over our heads. I figured they might leave beta for maybe the last three months, but honestly, from what I've played on the alpha, I thought we might have a little bit more testing before they pulled the trigger on this, especially when it comes to content we haven't gotten our hands on all that much, like warfronts and raiding. Let's have a chat about what this move means for the game and what you can expect going forward. So Blizzard said that Alpha was going to be the beta of Battle for Azeroth, for the most part at least. Usually a beta includes system introductions and a whole bunch of testing. For Battle for Azeroth it looks like the idea was to get the entire puzzle all pieced together and in some testable form while still calling it an Alpha. So get the island expeditions in there, have the warfronts at least playable, get everything lined up in the correct order so the only thing left to do is to slap a good amount of Blizzard approved polish on the finished product. With this swap over to a beta test from an alpha test, that tells me Blizzard is more or less happy with the overall shape of Battle for Azeroth, and all the bits and pieces that they want to 100% for sure have in the game should be in there already. All that's left to do is work out all the kinks and smooth out any rough edges to make sure everything flows beautifully. So if you had a problem with any significant part of the expansion, chances are you're going to have to deal with it. I doubt we'll get any massive changes from here on out. That being said, I would expect everything to accelerate very quickly from here on out. We should be seeing the finishing touches being put onto every storyline, every quest, every nook and cranny of the next expansion. Loot tables should be filled in, item models and rewards should be included, and all that extra jazz. It's hopefully going to be a blast. I wish it were August already. That being said, if you have any worries or troubles about the smaller details, class talents, the playstyle of certain specs, Azerite talents being too bland, rewards seemingly out of place, this is the last chance for your voice to be heard. I'm not sure what Blizzard's policy is on this kind of thing, and they've made it clear in the past that sometimes they will just bull ahead without taking notice of players at the sidelines, but voicing your opinion in a constructive, meaningful way is the only hope you have of being heard. If you say nothing, expect nothing to happen. A lot of players should be getting invited into the beta test too, so be sure to check both your launcher and your email. I had access on my launcher for around two days before an email came through, so do be sure to check both. You might have beta access without even knowing it. If you managed to get in the game to play, check out all the bits and pieces you're interested in. I tried to glance over as much of the beta as I possibly can, just so I don't spoil absolutely everything for myself, just to try and keep things at least a little fresh when August finally rolls around. Do as you will with, you know, what you want to get done in beta if you do have access. Remember to report any bugs you find, and if anything really does bother you, it's best to say something now rather than not say anything at all. As for anyone who's already in the alpha test wondering what's going to change in this hop over to beta, all of our characters have been wiped, so it's a fresh start for everyone on the beta test. This is the last time a character wipe is planned, and it kind of makes sense. The battle for Lordron and introduction quests for the new zones are in place, as well as the quest for the Heart of Azeroth. All the characters didn't really work anymore because of conflicts with the introduction, and now the dev team can funnel us through the starting experience for extra testing. Hooray. That also means it's going to take me a little while to get back to where I was in terms of progress on the beta, but I'll try and rush through it as quickly as I can to provide you with more videos from a max level perspective. Thankfully, character copy will also be made available sometime soon, so we can leave these pesky undergeared template characters in the dust and use our hard-earned gear, mounts, and characters. The last thing I want to mention in this quick video is there's going to be another developer Q&A this Thursday, which is April 26th, so if you're not too busy checking out the new Avengers movie, hop on over to Twitch to see what our devs are really thinking about the current state of beta. If you want to get some questions in for that, I believe they take questions on their Twitter and the forum thread where they announce the Q&A, so I'll link that in the description below. Who knows, your question might get answered on stream. Hopefully we get some good ones this time around. Some of the Q&As can be a little frustrating with the questions being about information that's already easily accessible and gone over several times before, but I guess we'll see. That's it for this quick little heads up. We're at full speed ahead as a beta test. Do you think this is maybe too early? Are you worried about the state of the game 
with an August release date. Leave all your thoughts in the comments section below. A big thank you to our ever-growing group of supporters over on Patreon. If you want to hop on that train, you can find a link in the description below. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching, folks. Good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.